Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing another what is on my iPhone. You guys request these all the time. It's insane. But I also love the fact that you guys request these because it forces me to switch up my phone and find new ways of organizing so I can share them with you guys. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be going through everything for you guys. If you guys are new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and want more videos like this. Okay, I'm going to screen record everything, pop it up right here for you. So I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max in the midnight green. Um, I covered it with like a marble skin from Unique Find, but I've said it multiple times. I don't think it's worth it to buy the skin because I swear it was like $30 and it doesn't cover all of the phone. So that's that's my opinion on it. I will leave that out there for you guys because I, I get a ton of questions on it, um, but I did find it on Unique Find or Unique. Yeah, uniquefind.com, something like that. Um, but yeah, and then I have my Berga phone case on here. I have an entire video dedicated to all of my phone cases. So if you guys are curious um, about the Berga phone cases or any other phone cases that I have, I do have that video up on my channel. I'll go ahead and try to remember to leave a link down below for you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start screen recording. We're gonna pop it up right here for you guys. So you guys can follow along and see what my phone looks like. All right, so. This is my home screen, it just says, but first coffee, very fitting for me. So we're gonna swipe up and this is what my home screen looks like. So we have my home screen and then this is the second screen that I have. Everything is organized into folders. That is how I like to organize everything. Keeps it very organized, keeps me sane. When I look at my phone, things are not too crazy. So I have everything organized into folders. All of my folders are labeled accordingly. I get a ton of questions about how I have like the font on my folders. It's not a font, it's just the iPhone lettering. All I did was take, um, or all I did was put a space in between each letter and that is how I got the names of my folders to look like that. Um, and then the little Apple logo that I have on this folder here at the top, um, if you just Google Apple logo text, you can copy and paste it and put that as the label. <laughs> okay, I think that addresses all of the questions that I'll probably get about that. So let's just go ahead, hop into this. So the first thing that I have here is my Google Calendar. I don't usually show my Google Calendar, um, but I guess we can pop into it. Um, I love my Google Calendar. I use it so much. We've got literally everything pulled into my calendar. Everything is color coded. Uh, if you guys want me to do like a full calendar kind of video and how I like separate and organize everything into certain sections, I guess, uh, let me know and we can do that. But yeah, that's basically just my Google Calendar. I use it to the best ability. I literally color code and label everything. Keeps me sane, keeps me organized. That's how I get through my days. <laughs> then moving on, we have Safari. And then we have the Ring app, we have a Ring doorbell. So that has like been one of the best things about our new house is our Ring doorbell because I can't even tell you how many packages I have missed before at my old place because the drivers wouldn't knock on the door. They would just leave a note and then leave. So now I can see when they're coming up to the house and like when they're at the front door so I can run down and get my package. Then we have settings um, and then moving on, we have my photo section or my photo folder. So in here, we have the app on um. This is what I use to organize my Instagram feed. Best app, hands down, love it. As you guys can see, I have some stuff planned out for the next few ones. The ones with the little green Instagram logo are obviously the ones that I've already posted on my Instagram. The other three right here are ones that I'm like debating using and trying to figure out how I'm gonna post. Um, so yeah, I have a brand deal due, so I submitted that already and I planned it out into my feed. If they approve it, then I'm gonna probably post that today. Um, but yeah, that is how I plan everything for my Instagram. Then we have the app Unfold, which is super awesome. Um, if you want to do like little Instagram stories, stuff like that with little like Polaroids or anything. We have my photos app, we have Lightroom, which is how I edit all of my Instagram photos. I use my Lightroom presets. Those are always linked down below if you guys want to ever check them out. I get a lot of questions on how I edit my Instagram feed. It's literally just all my presets. Um, that's how I get like that creamy beige consistency all throughout. 
Um, and then we have Visco. I did a video, if you guys don't want to buy presets, I do have a video out there on how I edit my Instagram photos using the Visco app. So I will try to remember to link everything that I've talked about in this video down below. So if I forget to link something, just let me know and then I'll go ahead and link it. Um, and then I have Facetune, which I use basically to like add detail in a photo or like whiten the background um, if I ever do. It's mostly on like brand photos if I ever need to like whiten something or do that. Snapseed, I don't really use. Um, I could probably get rid of that one. I downloaded it because I thought I was going to use it for something and then never did. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then we have InShot, which is how I will usually edit um, videos and stuff for my Instagram. Um, Lauren Elizabeth talked about it in one of her videos one time and I discovered that. It's a great way to edit videos and like IGTV if you have all of the stuff on your phone. Okay, moving on, we have my social folder. This is basically all of my social media apps. So we have YouTube, we have YouTube Studio, which is great for creators, and then we have my Pinterest, which is where my backgrounds are. I get so many questions about that. You guys go crazy about my backgrounds every time I have them in these videos. So literally it's right here. The first thing that you can see is screensavers. If you go into this, all of the backgrounds um, that you guys see will be in here. Um, and then I save a bunch of other random ones. If you guys ever want other ones, if you don't like the ones that I've shown in my videos, literally all you can search up is like iPhone wallpapers. There's so many different ones you can find on Pinterest, but if you're looking for a specific one that I've probably posted or used, it's most likely in this folder. So if you guys want to follow me, what is my, I don't know. I don't know what my, my username is. I wonder settings, edit profile. My username is um, at it's Kath Emily. There we go. Now you have it. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest and see my screensavers. Okay, so then we have Instagram. I've been using Instagram a ton lately. Like, I've been stepping up my Instagram game. I'm very proud of how my feed and my theme is coming together. I'm just, I'm so happy with it. I feel like it's way more me than it has ever been, ever. So. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's just at Catherine June. It's always linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, yeah, that's that. I post a lot of Instagram stories lately. I'll do a ton of Q&As on there if you guys ever have questions and stuff. Um, if you guys send me DMs, I try my best to respond to them. Um, yeah, so that is my Instagram if you guys want to follow me. And then we have Snapchat. Um, I usually don't really give my Snapchat out. Like, lately I haven't been, because I haven't really been posting on it as much. But then I posted it on TikTok and a bunch of people followed me, so I don't know. I think it's just, it's Kath Emily if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat. Um, and then we have my Twitter. My Twitter's basically all of, like, my 2 a.m. thoughts. I think that's literally in my bio on my Twitter. Let's see. Here we go. Profile. Yeah. So, here's my Twitter. I haven't been posting as often, um, but yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter it's there. Um, and then we have Tumblr, which I really don't use. Um, Facebook Messenger, which I really don't use either. Um, I really don't go on Facebook a ton. Um, and then we have TikTok. I'm obsessed with TikTok. Love TikTok. If you guys want to follow me on TikTok and see all the random crazy videos that I've been posting during quarantine, I've got something in my eye. Um, here it is. It's at It's Cat Family. You guys want to follow me for a fun time? <laughs> okay. Um, and then moving on, we have my money folder basically all of my money apps. And then I have Robinhood, which is my investment app. Um, I'm getting into investing lately. Obviously the stock market has crashed with all of the stuff that has been going on. And I literally just got into it like two months ago. So there's a lot to learn. Um, I'm not someone to ask advice for with the stock market. Um, it's a whole learning process for me, but I'm trying my best to start investing now. Um, and then all of my money apps, stuff like that. Then moving on, we have my work folder. This is where I have anything related to work type stuff. So we have reward style, which is a commission based um, site that you can like link stuff for bloggers, YouTubers, influencers, all those kinds of things. Then we have my Gmail app, we have Shopify. 
I have my own online store, so I sell presets and I also sell handmade jewelry, which is the beaded bracelets that I am wearing now. Um, I also sell crystals on my shop, that is like the newest drop. So if you guys want to check out my shop, it'll be linked down below. That is why I have Shopify, I run my shop through Shopify. Then we have Google Keep, which is where I keep all of my notes and grocery lists, to-do lists, stuff like that. Like to know it. I literally don't even have a profile on there. I could probably delete this app. I think I say that every single time that I go through my what's on my iPhone. And then we just have the Apple Mail app, which I don't use. I use Gmail more often. Um, and then moving down to the bottom, we just have my phone, messages, and Spotify. I get a ton of questions about my Spotify and my music and stuff. I make monthly playlists and then like some random playlists. So this is my profile if you guys want to follow me and see what music I'm listening to. This is this is where you find it. <laughs> okay, um, moving on. Let's see. So this is my home screen. I have obviously my apps at the top separated from like the bottom on both screens. That's just how I like to keep things. Um, my screensaver is on the Pinterest. Um, section that I showed you guys, if you guys wanna use that. Um, and then if you swipe over to the left, I don't set up any widgets. I don't really like them. Um, all I keep is my Apple Watch, obviously like my phone batteries, that's all that's on here. Um, and then my AirPods will connect anytime they're like near my phone or I open them. So that is my first page. Moving on to the second page, we have the Apple folder. This is basically all of like the Apple apps and like my games and stuff that I don't really use, but it's on my phone. Um, most of the Apple stuff that I have, I keep in like this shortcut section right here. So um, I always have my, my phone lock orientation on. I usually have do not disturb on. Um, I have my flashlight, battery, timer, calculator, and my camera. That is how I get to my camera. That's why I keep my camera in the little Apple section because I will just swipe down and click the camera or if you're on your home, your lock screen, you can just press that. So that's why I have that hidden. Then we have my lifestyle folder. Um, I got a ton of questions about sleep cycle on my morning routine. Um, I've said it so many times. I've used this app for probably six or seven years now, like since high school. And they just recently, like in the past few years, started making you pay for a membership for it. So I never had to pay because I had already had the app downloaded and I had already been using it for years before they decided to make that switch. So I personally do not pay for it. I don't think I would continue to use it if I had to pay for it. Um, so I, like, I feel like there's so many apps out there that you guys could find that do the same thing. Um, so I mean, I wouldn't suggest paying for it unless like you don't mind spending the money monthly on an alarm. <laughs> That's my opinion on it. Um, I'm sure there's tons of other free apps out there that do the same thing. Uh, then we have my Apple Watch app, um, my activity app, Sweatcoin, and Influencer. I really don't use. I could probably delete those. Um, then moving on, we have my speakers folder. This is my Amazon Alexa, my Google Home. We have Spectrum TV, and then we also have um, Honeywell for like our central AC and heat. So I use that because you can control it from your phone. Um, then we have my shop app, shop, <laughs> shop folder. Um, this is where I keep my Starbucks, DoorDash. Really sad because my address literally doesn't exist yet in most maps because our complex, um, like our community is so new, like our street. So I don't know when that's ever gonna happen. Probably not for a while, like until they're done building everything, but can't use DoorDash in my new place. So that kind of sucks, especially with everything going on right now. Like I actually have to go out and pick up the takeout food. So <laughs> still have to leave my house if I ever want to get food. Um, and then we have my garage app, love garage clothing. I have so much clothing from garage. I love their stuff. It's amazing. And we have my Poshmark app. I have posted some new stuff on my Poshmark. Um, this is my Poshmark. It's just at it's Catherine June. If you guys want to follow me, check out any of this stuff. Um, I'm selling a ton of shoes, some summer clothes, um, lots of leggings. Um, most of them are pretty new. I only wore them a few times, and then I just I ended up finding other ones that I liked better on Amazon. So there's a truck driving by. Um, okay, so that's my Poshmark if you guys want to shop my Poshmark. Um, and then we have the Apple Store, we have Let Go, which I could really delete too because I don't use that. Um, and then we have my Target app. 
So then moving on, we have my astro folder. This is where I have the pattern, which is like all about your astrology, your birth chart. Um, you can add friends on it. You can add your own profiles if you want to like low key see if the person that you're into is a good match for you, you know, and you believe in like the astrology of it all. You can enter in all of their information like yourself and you can like read about them. It's very interesting. Um, and then we have Shine app, which is like a good meditation kind of app. And then we have CoStar, which is another kind of astrology app. Then we have my fitness folder, which just has EOS and FeelFit. FeelFit is my digital scale that I have from Amazon. I think I'm gonna do an Amazon favorites video with all of my fitness favorites, which I'll talk about all of my favorite leggings, booty bands, um, workout gear, and my scale and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. And then we have my coupe folder. This is for my Jeep. Um, this is all stuff that relates to my Jeep, so I just keep that in there. My Jeep is named, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't switched this. My Jeep's name was Cooper. And then for some reason, I just kept feeling like my Jeep was not a boy and it was meant to be a girl. She's all blacked out. She's sleek, she's sexy. I love her, she's amazing. So we changed her name to Rebecca, Rebecca Black. <laughs> That's the Instagram. If you guys wanna follow my Jeep Instagram, um, it's literally Rebecca Black, but I think it's like certain letters are missing from it for the Instagram name. Um, honestly, I wonder what it is. Let me see. We have this one. So this is my Jeep <laughs> Instagram, if you guys wanna follow it. I haven't posted anything lately because I haven't really taken my Jeep out to take photos up here yet. Um, and I just got a car wash yesterday, finally. So I'm also gonna try to do a Jeep tour, car tour on my channel eventually. Um, so yeah, we'll get to that. But that's my Jeep Instagram. If you guys wanna follow it, you like cars. <laughs> Um, so then we have my travel folder. Last thing, this is where I have the weather app. Waze and Maps are the two um, maps that I use. Then we have Uber, Compass Cloud. Um, we have my Lyft app, Yelp, and Toll Roads. That is pretty much everything that I have on my iPhone. Let me go ahead and stop the screen recording before I forget because that is my biggest downfall. Every single time I film one of these videos, I always forget to stop the screen recording. I close my phone and then I have to redo the whole thing and then editing takes five ever. All right, that is it for everything that I keep on my iPhone. If you guys have any apps that you think I'd be interested in and wanna check out, comment them down below, let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you guys are subscribed. Stick around. We're getting so close to 50,000 subscribers. I think my goal is to try to get to that before the end of April. So we've got a month. Let's see if we can do it, guys. I think we can do it. I believe in us. All right. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.